have is from Sephora. I purchased my sister a Christmas present from there, so I won't tell you what I got her because I'm not going to spoil Christmas. But they were doing the these, like, you pick a bag um, full of goods. And so I picked a bag, and I thought, mm, keeping that for myself. It's called the Holiday Deluxe 2. I don't know if that's what it was really called online. I don't remember. And then I got to pick three samples on top of that. And I got free shipping. Uh, yeah, so this is a really good deal. So I'm excited. This is the actual bag. Like I need another bag. Like I need a hole in my head. But this is the actual bag, which is cute. It's this, like, faux leather, and it looks like, you know, you, like someone hand-stitched this. That's probably a lie, but it looks that way, and I like that. And then let's crack into samples that I have. So we'll start with the three that I got just for my purchase. The first I have is a Tarte. It's high performance natural. It's the Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. This is actually really funny. I did not uh, pick this one. I probably ran out of what I had before and just threw something in, which is totally fine. Tarte is a good company. I've never tried a Tarte product, which I know probably sounds crazy because everyone raves about Tarte, but I've never tried anything from them. And ironically, never tried bronzer before. This looks a little dark for me. I don't know. Maybe bronzer is supposed to be darker, this much darker than your skin tone. I don't know. They can't really always gear t samples towards like the abnormally pale, but I'll see. I'll play around with this now that I have it in my Ipsy bag and this, so that's exciting. I did want to try the Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. I got it in the lightest shade they would allow me to get, and it comes, it's cute packaging, it comes like this. I've heard mixed reviews about this, um, so I thought I would just give it a try because it was one of the free ones. And then lastly, I got a Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer. I really liked, I tried a sample of the Victoria's Secret Primer, and I asked Santa to bring it to me for Christmas, because uh, I, I never had used a primer before, and I didn't think it made that big of a difference until I tried it, and I liked it. So I've never tried a Smashbox product, so this is exciting. So when I went to make my purchase, one of the bags was sold out, um, and I would have either chosen this one or that one. The other one that was available didn't really interest me. I don't remember anything about any of the other bags, so don't ask. But I like this one because it seemed to have a good mix of products. The first thing I'll show you guys is the Anastasia Last Genius. This looks like a black mascara. Here, I'll probably put it so you can actually read it. It's really sleek packaging. Oh, let's look at the wand. Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. This is clear waterproof top coat. What? What? Top coat? Wait a second. You put top coat on your lashes? That's a, people do that? I've never heard of this. Give me the instructions. It says, carefully apply one or two coats on top of dry mascara to waterproof and refresh. Oh, that could be why I've never heard of this. I don't buy mascara that isn't waterproof. You never know when you might laugh so hard you cry, which sometimes happens to me pretty much every other day. Or, I don't know. I just, I always, I guess I always just naturally get waterproof mascara. And then it gives false lashes a real finish you won't believe. False eyelashes freak me out, so I don't wear them. But this might be interesting. I don't think I own any not waterproof mascara. So maybe for kicks, I'll find some and use it and see put this on top of it. Hmm, interesting. Cool. All right, next up in the little bag, ah, an actual mascara. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Like I said earlier, I've never tried a Smashbox product. Oh, wow, that's an intense. Look at that little guy. Look at that. Ooh, whoop, playing tricks on you. Look at that wand. That is intense. Hmm, this looks good. Just your basic black. That's exciting. All right, next to my, I feel like I got a little bag of tricks here. Oh, more Smashbox. It's the Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream for dark spot correcting. It's light to medium. That sometimes is risky. So let's do a small little swatch of it. Yep, this one's looking a little too dark for me. You can see it on there. I might, if, I don't know how long this stuff lasts. Um, yeah, 
no, no good. That's okay. Because it's, again, I didn't pay. I was going to buy this stuff anyways, and this was just an added bonus. So I don't know how long CC cream lasts, but potentially like in August, if I've cooked my skin well enough, and by cooked, I mean just went outdoors with sunscreen on and got enough freckles to look tan, it might be dark enough, my skin will be dark enough then to give this a try, but I, I don't know if it will have expired by then. I don't see an expiration date. So if you guys know if there's like a timeline on when you shouldn't put this stuff on your face anymore, please let me know so I don't like disease my skin with stuff that I shouldn't put on there after a certain point in time. All right, moving on. I have this Lancome perfume sample. It... I don't, know. I don't know what the scent is. Let's try it. It comes in this really cute little spray bottle, which is really user-friendly because when they put the little vials, that's a one-time use for me. Not intentionally, but because I'm so graceful that I... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like that. It smells a bit like... Like baby powder with some flour. Not flour, like flour you bake with, but flowers. I don't hate that. I don't know if I ever buy a full size of it, but it's not bad to try, so that's nice. And moving on, I have a Urban Decay sample. It is the anti-aging um, primer potion. I love their primer potion. That's what I wear um, every morning when I put on eyeshadow. But I've also got turned on to the e.l.f. one as well, but I've never had the anti-aging. And look at how cute the little bottle is. It's like a little mini version of their full size, which I think is super cute. Urban Decay, you're getting after it. Let's just see if it looks any different than the usual stuff. I didn't know your eyelids could age drastically like that. I don't know, whatever. Nope, it has no color. It's got the same, um, Texture, it's really the same formula. It's just meant to fight the signs of aging. It's got special ingredients to fight the sign of your aging eyelids. I didn't know that was a rampant problem among women, but apparently now it is. Enough to have a whole product for it. Okay, good. Oh, I like that. I really like I really like Urban Decay in general, and I like their primer potion. All right, we're still going because this just is the gift that keeps on giving. I have Kat Von D lipstick. This is part of the reason why I chose this bag. I have really, really, really wanted to try new lipstick, but I don't ever buy it because I'm not sure how it's gonna look on me. And I don't care if it was like a drugstore brand or a higher brand, like I don't care. I don't wanna waste the money on it. So I wanted to try this and this is nude. So this is, I feel like this is like a Barbie or like what you give to little kids to play with makeup. It's really cute. This is what it looks like. Okay, and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna put it on. I don't hate it. The one that I really wanna purchase but I've been really afraid of is, um. The L'Oreal one, people rave about that one. And people, when they wear it in the videos that I watch, I'm like, oh, that looks so pretty. But their normal skin tone, like they don't look like they're paler than life. So it looks really good on them. And I just never, I never knew if it was gonna work for me. I really like this. And the only thing about this though, as I'm talking, is it's not super moisturizing and my lips feel a little dry. So that's kind of a downside. I mean, especially because I'm sure this is a more expensive brand. But I don't hate nude, so I might end up going out and getting the L'Oreal because I, I really have wanted to try it, but I've just been too afraid of nude because I'm so pale. All right, and, oh, two more. I've got the Ocean. I don't know if the pronunciation of that is right. It's the Color Sustain Pro. It's a fade fighter, and it protects hair color for 40 washes. I don't dye my hair, so that's not really important to me, but what do you do with it? ritual. It doesn't even say instructions or directions. You know it's fancy when it puts itself into its own category of this is going to be a ritual for you. How bold. I like that. It says use twice a week following your shampoo. Leave on for two minutes then rinse thoroughly. And that just helps preserve your hair or your hair color. 
Interesting. You know, wonders never cease. Ever since I've kind of tapped into this whole beauty lifestyle or light or just products, I'm amazed by how many hair products there are out there. You got hair masks, hair oil, shampoo and conditioner, and then you've got like color preserver. It just, you got oil, you got so, you, hair protector spray. It just, the list goes on and on and on. And right when I feel like I have found or encountered all the hair products, that you could encounter, another one comes out. It's amazing. Whoever works with hair and invents these products, well played. So let's just see if it's got a scent or anything with it. Ooh, okay, it just squirts right out there. Ooh, it smells like vanilla. And it seems to be like a mixture between like shampoo and, oh, now it's not smelling so good. It smells a little bit like Nair. I don't really wanna associate hair remover with putting it into my head, but it just kind of, it's just really like, it seems like a serum, but an oil, in an oil a little bit. I don't know, I'll be curious to try this, even though I don't, um, yeah, I'm using tissue paper to wipe off my hand, because I can't, I'll forget that it's there, and then I'll like touch myself in the head or something, like that could have been, that could have happened, it could have all been my face. Um, it'll be interesting to try, not opposed to it. Okay, and the last product I have, is this Ren Hydrocom Cleansing Milk. Oh, I remember this. These two products and this were really what pulled me into this bag because I was like, wait, you drink milk, you put it in a nice bowl of cereal, what do you mean you, you can cleanse with it? I was really curious about it. So here we go, it says gently rub between hands, massage onto face, rinse off with warm water. Now you can tell it's probably not as fancy because it says to use, it doesn't say ritual like my other product does. But this is, I just thought that was interesting and it's supposed, it's Hydrocom, it, I don't know, I really don't know. I'm excited about this, but I am just blown away by the fact that I got this, all of this stuff for free because I was going to purchase this product for her anyways. I would have probably gone to the store because I'm not usually an online shopper. Oh, I forgot about that. I also bought um, huh, this online because I recently, um, I, oh, I'm so excited about these products that I can't even get my thoughts together. Hold on. All right, we're back. I recently subscribed or signed up or whatever term you'd like to use for Ebates. And when I was on Ebates, at first I was like, whew, I'm a little overwhelmed. And I reached out to my girls on the trading group that I'm a part of on Facebook, and they helped navigate. They were like, here, just type in the uh, into the search bar the stores you are looking to potentially shop at online, and then they'll show you what kind of discounts you might get or what kind of percentage back you'll get. Because if you guys don't know, Ebates is a free website that you can use, and they give you cash back for shopping on certain websites. So for example, Sephora had 8% cash back. So I think I spent $40, $40 and I received 8% of that back on Ebates. And what they eventually do is then you, once you get to a certain amount of money, you can click send me a check and they will send you a check of all the cash back that you've earned. So if you're a person who naturally shops online or is planning on doing that, at least for this holiday season, I'd recommend it. I've not seen anything sketchy about this website. It seems to really just be designed to help you. I don't know how Ebates makes money off this or how it's sustainable in any capacity, but I don't care because if I'm still getting money out of it, done. I don't need to know your system and the inner workings or any of that jazz. So this is really exciting. I mean, they, so many products. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight samples plus outside of the bag, three other samples. So this is really exciting. And I, I don't know if they're still doing this promotion or not, but if they are, I would highly encourage you guys, if you're shopping on Sephora anyways, to go ahead and do this. But that's it for me, guys. And if you guys are doing any hauls or you know any deals that are coming around, I'm a big Black Friday shopper and Cyber Monday shopper. So please let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have any recommendations or questions about any of these, or not questions, I should say comments or feedback about any of these products, could you use them? Help a girl out. Let me know what's you know good to use for these products or how to use them, any of that jazz. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.